Do you think tech startups want just coding skills? Think again. Tell me about you. And all of a sudden, it becomes a game of accountability. Accountability, bias for action, and resilience are only some of the areas tech startups want to see you excel at. Behavioral interviews aim to assess precisely these areas. And let me tell you, the skills demonstrated in them are equally important, if not more important, to show off than the technical skills. So to me, what do I tell the kids? To stop talking in generalization and start talking about themselves and start focusing on what they're going to do about it. I'm Stefan, Senior Engineering Manager, and in this video, we're diving deep into the behavioral qualities top tech startups look for. The challenging questions they love to ask, and trust me, you won't want to miss the framework I share later in the video that I used to pass behavioral interviews with flying colors. You'll be surprised to see it's a much more robust way than the old school star motto. Yes, you heard that right. I will not bore you with the star method, because simply put, it doesn't work anymore. Instead, I will share with you a new way to have your interviewers really relate to your answers. And with that, now that I have your curiosity, let's get started. To begin with, let's talk about common traits that make someone truly stand out in a startup environment and the questions interviewers ask to assess them. First up, we have learning agility. Startups want to get evidence of your learning quickly and adapting to fast-paced environments. A question to get insight on this can be, can you describe a time when you were thrown into a project or situation that required you to grasp a completely new technology or methodology? How did you approach it and what was the outcome? Next, we have bias for action. In the startup world, waiting can be costly. It's about making decisions. And sure, they need to be fast, but they also need to be smart and informed. Interviewers like to ask the following question about Tell me about a scenario where you had to prioritize immediate action over detailed planning. How did you decide on your course of action and what were the results? Now, who here likes a clear plan? We all do, right? But sometimes there isn't one. That's where resilience and ambiguity comes in. In startups, people need to be moving forward and making the right decisions even when there's no clear plan is essential. A question related to this trait is this. Describe a project or initiative you were part of where the direction or outcome was uncertain. How did you navigate the ambiguity and keep yourself and your team motivated? Remember when you last asked someone for feedback on your idea or your work? That desire to get better, that's a growth mindset. It's all about taking feedback and learning and evolving over and over. On this topic, you might be asked to share an instance where you received feedback that took you by surprise. How did you react and how did you implement changes based on that feedback? Now, zooming back out from the day-to-day -day activities, thinking holistically is an invaluable skill. Holistic thinking is where you mix tech with a pinch of business, product design and marketing, finance and more. It's about understanding the company's strategic position and seeing the big picture. A question interviewers ask around this can be to describe a project where you had to integrate insights from multiple departments, like tech, business and design, to achieve a common goal. How did you ensure all voices were heard and integrated into the final product or strategy? Lastly, my favorite, constructive dissent. This isn't about arguing for the sake of it. It's about challenging ideas because you genuinely believe it's a better way and doing it with respect and leaving egos out the door. A common question on that is, tell me about the time when you disagreed with your manager or team consensus on a particular approach or solution. How did you express your dissent and what impact did your perspective have on the final decision? These are by far the most important behavioral traits that startups value and want to see from you. Make a note of them and add to your list any other question you think could come up. Got any careful question from your interviews? Drop them in the comments, share your stories, challenges and wins. And hey, if you enjoy my content, remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, we've chatted about those fantastic trades and explored challenging questions. Now, imagine you're in an interview. Right now, how would you tackle those questions? I've got a handy framework to guide you through. First off, you'll need to do a little pre-work. You'll want to have a place to gather information about the company and the team you might join. Check people out on LinkedIn, read any published blogs, and watch videos that relate to them. You can also talk to your recruiter to find out more. Remember, recruiters are on your side. They want you to succeed. Be 
Before getting into the interview, you'll want to have an excellent understanding of the company's values and the challenges they're facing. Fast forward to interview day. Expect around 45 minutes of conversation. You'll tackle about six main questions with a couple of follow-ups for each. And remember, it's not a storytelling contest. Clarity and conciseness are what you should aim for. Now, many people recommend following the STAR method to answer questions, where you share the situation, task at hand, action, and results. I have found this framework to be incomplete and risky. By using it, you risk not being concise enough and also not relating your examples with the company that you're talking with. Here's what I recommend. The card framework. It's all about the challenge you faced, the action you took, the results you achieved, and then tie it all back to the company you're interviewing with. Either the challenges or the opportunities that they have or their values. A pro tip on top of this framework, stick to the 2 2 2 rule. Spend two minutes on painting the context, two minutes diving into your action, and round off two minutes detailing the results and link your answer to the company's values or challenges. By using these two methods, you'll be giving insights to the interviewer about you, how you like to work, what you've accomplished, and relating that back to their company. Now that's telling a compelling story they want to hear and care about. So there you have it. With these tips in mind, before getting in an interview, do your research. Prepare how to answer common behavioral questions using the CART framework and the 2 2 rule, and go smash that interview. Remember to always have a list of questions prepared to ask in the interview to really show interest in the company you're talking to. If you need help setting the right SMART goals at your company, watch my last video where I share my recommendations for each level to help you get to the next one. Remember to hit that like button, share this video with your colleagues or friends, and subscribe for more. Thanks for staying with me till the end, and until next time, stay curious, keep growing, and I'll see you in the next one.